Okay, what we have here today is a liter LDC822. It's an 80 megahertz counter. Has a really unique, um, oh, uh, uh, kind of a turquoise uh, colored LED. Very bright. Uh, nice size uh, readouts. I'd say they're uh, uh, they're more than a half an inch in height and um, quite readable. The unit is in very nice condition. Good handle. Good paint. No, uh, no observable scratches that I see. Uh, a very clean front panel. Clean front uh, screen. Right now I am feeding it with a signal uh, from this PTS frequency synthesizer. I can uh, synthesize any frequency from 100 kilohertz up to 160 megahertz uh, and I can do it on uh, decade dials for every digit so right now I am feeding in a 70, um, 79,999,999 hertz signal and as you can see that's about what we're reading 79 point and the rest of nines and then plus maybe a digit it may ring up to 80 but uh, we're bouncing back and forth which is excellent um, it's rated at 80 megahertz which is what we're at right now now if I was to uh, uh, kick this thing up another 10 megahertz we see that the uh, frequency drops but if I take her down just a megahertz or two like here we are at 87 and we are we are accurately reading at 87 6 so we're getting six or seven extra megahertz above the uh, the rated specification which is good you got just a little bit of extra room there um, take her back down again I can dial in any digit I want and you can see the response go to zero here so here we are at 70.9 Take her down to zero. All right. So here we are at 70 megahertz. 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There's 900 kilohertz. We'll go ahead and raise the time base up uh, to a second. So 900 kilohertz, 800, 700. We have to wait a second here now. 600, 500, 400. 300, 200, 100 kilohertz. I don't know what the low end spec is on this. Okay, we are uh, connected up now to my um, my Rick Aldana 20 megahertz uh, sweep generator. I'm not sweeping right now. I'm using it as a as an RF generator, but we are feeding in about a 401 kilohertz signal. The reason I'm doing this is because my uh, PTS-160 is only good from 100 kilohertz up. Below 100 kilohertz, it's un unreliable. So we're using this uh, Ray Caldena to generate some frequencies that'll take us down below the 100 kilohertz. Right now, we're starting off at 400. I'll go ahead and take her down a decade. And uh, we see that we right now are running 39.25. I'll take her down another decade. Okay, 3.97 kilohertz. Another one. Uh, 393 hertz. We'll go down one more. Okay, now we're running about 39 hertz. And Finally, about 4 hertz, 3.9 probably. So we can take this all the way down to the hertz level 
Somewhere around three hertz, she's going to fall out. We'll take her down to three. See what happens here. There's three. And we'll try for two. There's two hertz. And you can see by the dial here that I am down at two. We'll take her down to one hertz and see what happens. And we dropped out. There, well, there's one. One hertz. And we are running about one hertz. Okay, so the unit is capable of reading all the way down to a hertz. And that's in the frequency state. Uh, and the low end, you're probably better off measuring period because there are more cycles, uh, count cycles in a period. Uh, you can take one second and break it up into 100,000 counts. And so for a one cycle, uh, uh, one second period, 100,000 counts, you'll, you'll get some nice resolution. We'll take a look at that in a moment. I'll set it up. Okay, we've got ourselves set up to measure period. And right now we're feeding in a signal that's approximately 3 hertz out of our uh, signal generator. And uh, we are reading uh, frequency at the moment uh, on the 10 second time period. And uh, we see that we have 0 0.0030 kilohertz. So that would be 3.0 hertz. Now if I go and I put this thing into uh, the period mode, we should read 333 milliseconds. Okay. Yeah, we're getting 332. There we are, 333.33 would be perfect. We're not going to get 0.33. I got a little drift going on here, but there's 333.3 milliseconds would be uh, 3 hertz right on the nose. But as you can see, we're drifting. Okay, but the point is, we are measuring period just fine. Uh, if I um, was to go to 6, we should drop to 16... Uh, be uh, 166 uh, or thereabouts. Okay, we're reading 166.3.4. It's climbing slightly, but milliseconds. So if I switch back to frequency, we should be reading 6 hertz. And we'll do that in the 10 second time period. So we get a little extra resolution here. There we are, 0 0.0060 exactly as predicted. And we'll go back to the 166 milliseconds. So period is measuring just fine. This is a very nice looking unit. As I said, uh, I really like the uh, the ice blue uh, display. It's very interesting, different. Um, Easy to use uh, unit, uh, has a nice handle. I'm going to go ahead and set this down. So as you can see, the, uh, the handle works just fine. Very attractive unit. And I wish you uh, luck in buying it.